hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about the natural frequency of 2d beam uh, structure and uh, this is the example that i'm going to show you in in this video so we have our uh, two two beams and uh, we divided this beam by uh, 20 so we get uh, small elements here and uh, we can check the materials we have the uh, weight here and the young modulus and next we can check the cross-sectional area so we change this to zero we want to knock the shear uh, stiffness and for the parameter that we going to use it is, a, is the cross-sectional area and the moment of inertia about the uh, strong axis so uh in this video i'm going to write a small program and uh, we use the uh, finite element method and the uh, python in order to perform the structural analysis and get the natural frequency and once we, we get the result we will compare those uh, with the result from sub 2000 here so uh, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and if you like this video please put the thumb up as well so this is the code that i used in my previous video so uh, you can check this video in order to understand about the uh, structural analysis of 2d beam by using python and finite element method i will leave the link of this video in the description so don't forget to check it out and uh, once you know how to perform the structural analysis of 2d beam you will have uh, this code and uh, i'm not going to explain uh, about this code because i already uh, covered this in uh, my previous video but uh, i'm going to delete some part because we don't need uh, those so the first one here is the uh, matplotlib uh, I don't want to plot any uh, graph so I'm going to delete the uh, plot uh, part here and uh, next I will delete this one and this one also so uh, in this code we have a class called beam and in this class we have uh, the, the beam uh, uh, parameters uh, properties and uh, we also have the analysis uh, method here which is for structural analysis and uh, we have the input here so first I'm going to import the density of uh, the beam so the value here is uh, in pound per cubic inch so this is the weight uh, density but we need to convert this to mass density in order to uh, find the natural frequency but i will show you this uh, later uh, next we have the node the bar connectivity and this is the object beam one and uh, we need to change the section of uh, this beam so all the section equal to uh, 18, 17, and 12. And uh, we can go to the beam class here in order to modify uh, some parameters. So first we need to import the density. And this one, uh, density. and next i'm going to create a variable called f which uh, for uh, collect all the frequency data and we will keep everything the same here but uh, in this part we need to find the element mass matrix and uh, you can find more information in this book uh, it is a good book for finite element method and uh, you can check uh, the uh, value here so we need to import this mass matrix uh, here and uh, we can use this 
value 0 and 0 but uh, we need to change it to the mass moment of inner shear because uh, uh, if you use 0 the matrix will be a uh, singular matrix we cannot so we cannot uh, find uh, the result and uh, in order to find the natural frequency you can read uh, below uh, the page below here and uh, uh, we need to solve this equation so we have the stiffness matrix and the mass matrix so in order to find the omega uh, the the square omega here we need to divide the uh, stiffness matrix here by the mass matrix so first i'm going to add another part here which is the element uh, mass matrix so first i'm going to import the uh, moment sorry the mass moment of inertia and we uh, import the uh, equation from the book so we need the density but uh, we need to change the weight density here to the mass density so we need to divide the value by uh, con uh, the gravitational constant and the next one is L divided by 2 and power 2 next we can input the element mass matrix but uh, I will create uh, an initial matrix here and change this to M and the next one is the global mass matrix so I will uh, change this to mm so now we can import the value to m uh, i and again density divided by uh, con uh, sorry the gravitational constant and cell section L uh, divided by 2 and uh, we need to put uh, input the uh, matrix so the first row here is 1 0 0 and 0 and this is the second row third row and the last one the fourth uh, row so this is 0 i i 0 0 and 0 0 and 1 and 0 and the last one is i i so now we have the element mass matrix we can form the global mass matrix so uh, this is global mass matrix uh, we need to change this to M and this is MM and uh, next we go into chain uh, sorry we need to add something here so we change this to MFF which is the uh, mass matrix at 3 degree of freedom and now we can find the natural frequency so uh, as I mentioned we need to uh, find a solution to the equation I show you in the book so we call this matrix and we can use the uh, numpy command in order to uh, find the solution so I will first invert the uh, matrix MFF and then multiply by KFF and now we can find the uh, omega uh, uh, I mean the square omega and uh, we can use the numpy command again to find the eigen value of the matrix here so this is the eigen value and this is the eigen width and now we can find 
the omega by uh, using the numpy command uh, square root and the last one here is f equal to omega divided by 2 uh, 2 pi So uh, now we have the natural frequency. We can actually run uh, this code, but uh, we need to print the result. So I will call the command print and bin one f. So uh, let's try to run this. So now we have this value, uh, which is the natural frequency, and uh, we can compare with the result from. Uh, sub 2000 so uh, we can go to display and table and we can show the model periods and uh, frequencies table and we have this value so we can compare with the code so the first one here is uh, 6 uh, 26 and 110 uh, we can see that the results are similar so I think the code here is uh, quite acceptable. So you can use this uh, method in order to find the natural frequency. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you can check the link in the description. I will uh, uh, put the important information there. So please don't forget to check them out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button as well. If you like this video, please put the thumb up. Okay, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much uh, for watching.